jump to immigration uh, quickly. Uh, thought to be a toxic issue this year because it's, it's an election year. Uh, so conventional wisdom has it, it's not happening this year. No, perhaps not even the DREAM Act. Uh, you have been for comprehensive immigration reform, uh, which opponents criticize as amnesty. They want a secure border first. Uh, what is the proper road ahead here in immigration? And when? Now, I went up to the White House the other day with the so-called leadership group. We met with the President and Roosevelt. The purpose was to ask us what should we bring up when our advice. When I had a chance to speak, um, I talked uh, first about the stimulus and recovery and some thoughts about my jobs tax credit. But I was the first one in the room to say, Mr. President, I think we bring up immigration today. And he agreed with me. Many don't agree. Many think it's too dangerous. People of this state are extremely worried about this. Again, having followed this at town meetings over the years, when you actually talk to people about what President Bush tried to do, what President Obama's tried to do, what McCain tried to do, what I voted for, which is three parts. Tightening the border, preventing illegal immigration. Secondly, making sure employers are not able to exploit this system. And thirdly, a fair solution for those that are already here who are not doing additional things against the law. A path to legal residency. Including penalties. We voted for a bill that had a $1,000 penalty and a temporary work permit, followed by another $1,000 penalty and getting in line behind everybody else for citizenship, which is an 11-year process. When I tell people that, they go, oh, well, of course, that's what those who are extremists on this call amnesty. That is not amnesty. It is not the death penalty, but it is not amnesty. To me, this is a, if you really listen to the business community, and this is going to be a test in this election, who is listening to the business community of Wisconsin on immigration? Ron Johnson or Russ Feingold? It's Russ Feingold. The businesses of this state do not want us to take and try to get all these people and kick them back into Mexico. They need this kind of help. They value many of these people in our state, many of whom, of course, are citizens of the state. And so the only responsible thing to do, the only way to avoid what's happened in Arizona is to pass federal legislation. But here's the biggest <laughs> fraud of all, is when people say, how come you guys haven't done anything on immigration? Well, that's just not fair. We tried again and again, and led by Congressman Sensenbrenner here, they made sure we couldn't, that they ginned up a movement that made it impossible for us to get 60 votes to proceed to the bill. Notice the difference. I <coughs> voted to proceed to the financial regulation bill. I felt the country deserved an opportunity to see if we could do it. That required 60 votes. I did not vote no on that. I didn't know if I was going to vote for the bill in the end or not. I voted, along with many other senators, to proceed to immigration. But it's a conscious effort to prevent us from getting to the bill and then yell at everybody in both parties who really want to solve this problem. And that's one of the most cynical things that's going on in this country because immigration is a, a legitimate huge problem that needs to be solved for everybody involved. So I think it's the next bill we should do. And I, I think the president agrees, but there are problems particularly on the Republican side, but also frankly some on the Democrats.